Welcome to Virtual Ice Skating Coach. In this episode, we're going to teach you how to perform a half flip. Before attempting a half flip, we recommend that you review our YouTube videos on mohawks, outside three turns, and toe hops. A mohawk is a transition step from forward to backwards. There are multiple styles and ways to perform a mohawk. The toe pick, toe pick, I know you guys have all seen that movie, but the toe pick is really important when it comes to all these little hops, and a lot of times these little hops are in between jumps. If you watched the competitive skaters on nationals or on TV, you'll notice that they have all these little interconnecting steps with these little tiny hops like this. Um, also, if you are an open skate skater and you just like to do it for fun, this is something you can show your friends. So let's get started. A half flip starts with either a mohawk or a and tap and pull back to the other toe pick and jump, jump, land. Mohawk or three turn, tap, tap, land. Make sure too that when you go to pick back that your arm is directly in front of you in a sharp L. Or if you're left footed, your right arm would be in front. A common mistake I often see skaters make when they're first doing this jump is that they try to do it like the ballet hop where they'll jump on the same toe. So make sure that you're hopping from one toe to your other. It's also important to remember that when you are doing this jump after your three turn or mohawk and then after that toe tap and the jump, that you continue the glide going the direction that you started traveling in. Make sure when you tap back, tap, tap straight. Obviously you can't balance on your toe pick forever, so you're going to have to step down. So that is where the glide comes in. So just make sure when you're pushing that you don't forget to glide. Now that we talked about how to do this on the ice, we're gonna show you how to do this in the Jackson Ultima inline figure roller skates. I've noticed that doing this move on inline skates is a lot easier with momentum and it's easier to keep going. You don't quite just face plant um, after you land. It's easier to glide if you start with speed on this move. Which is interesting to me because with a lot of figure skating jumps, you would start from a standstill and then as the skater got more comfortable, then you would start adding speed. Oftentimes, step sequences, otherwise known as footwork, which you'll see in the Olympics, and once you get to the pre-preliminary freestyle test, this is going to be in your freestyle programs. A step sequence is an interconnected series of steps and turns and sequences with mohawks, three turns, crossovers, and then harder turns after that. They all have interconnecting steps and oftentimes hops and small half jumps are added in that. So try this with a little bit of speed, add a couple other elements in between it and try to connect the moves. It'll make it a little bit more complicated and it'll make the rest of your moves look a little bit more flowy. In our upcoming videos, we're going to show you and break down how to do a fully rotated flip jump. We're going to give you tips on how to do these on the wall, how to practice these off ice, and then of course, how to practice them on the ice or on inline roller figure skates. Thank you for tuning in to Virtual Ice Skating Coach to learn about half flip jumps. If you found this helpful, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for future skating lessons, tips, and resources.